Hello again, my name's Gabe Zona. This is the 19th of January, 2019. Posted a number of videos yesterday. One was titled, Trump Needs to Rescind Obama's First Executive Order. And I went ahead and I did a couple of searches, and what I have found is that the web has been purged of an awful lot of information as it pertains to the chosen one. Barack Hussein Obama. Covington and Burling is the law firm that Eric H. Holder Jr. worked for at the time, and he's now gone back to that firm as well as a partner. And that's the same law firm that I read articles on that Elena Kagan retained to the tune of, I believe, three million dollars to bury Obama's past. And what you're going to get is a whole lot of misinformation. I can't find a single record that says that. I read another article that said that uh, the web is full of misinformation on Obama and it talked about his uh, military registration card. It said that he completed it, he filled it out. Well, yeah, he did, or someone did, but Sheriff Joe's posse, Mike Zulu, he uncovered a rather interesting detail. If you take a look at Obama's military registration card, it doesn't have four digits for the date. It's got 8-0, not 1980. And the reason it's got 8-0 is they couldn't find a 1980 stamp. So what they did is they took a 2008 stamp. They cut off the 2 and the O and they turned it around backwards. And the problem is when you do that, the little circle in the number 8 is at the bottom, not at the top, which proves it's an absolute, undeniable forgery. I could go on and on and on, but what's the point? They also said that Obama didn't bury his past as far as the school records are concerned, but what the article also says is that the schools, the universities, can't release those without the approval of the students. So they have it and they know that he was a foreign exchange student. I mean, there's just so much undeniable evidence. Obama also went to uh, part of the world that Americans couldn't go to at that time. And uh, he used, he couldn't have used his own passport. But what the article says is that he did use his own passport and he was allowed to travel to that part of the world, Istanbul, Turkey, Folks, like I said, it's just full of misinformation. Just like misinformation on JFK, misinformation on 9-11, misinformation on Pearl Harbor, misinformation on the Vietnam War, misinformation, that's all we ever get is misinformation. It's all orchestrated by them. No different than a Parkland shooting. Nicholas Cruz is an absolute patsy. Timothy McVeigh, an absolute patsy. The Murray Building takedown. You're never going to get the truth. And like I say, as far as I'm concerned, the Internet's all been purged of real pertinent data. Do your own search. See what you come up with. I told you what I've come up with. President Trump needs to expose Obama having been a usurper. President Trump needs to expose the fact that there is no Michelle Obama. The whole thing is just totally insane. Obama pushed through gay marriage to make himself feel good. This whole transgender bullshit is to make Mike feel good. Absolutely insane. That's sort of what I think. You might want to pass this along to your like-minded friends. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. Thanks for listening.